the trifecta of equipment, audio, and lighting. That stops people from creating videos. And we're gonna talk about that in video kickstart number four today. Hi, I'm Cheryl Tan with CherylTanMedia.com. Companies come to me when they want some guidance on content strategy, video marketing, and creating consistency in videos. And I'm so glad you're here. If you are just watching this video, know that we've done three other videos, my video kickstart series to help you get started using videos. Or if you've started videos and you've stopped, this is a great uh, kick in the butt, if you will, for you to get moving. So I get a lot of questions about equipment and I'm not an expert, I'll be honest. Uh, I've worked with a lot of high level equipment in the past, but I'm not an expert on equipment. And so for that, I would send you to chrislanevideo.com. He's my accountability buddy and he's the guy I turn to regarding the professional side of creating video. But there are some things that you can use that you can buy fairly inexpensively online that you can use to create videos that are really good enough. And that's what I encourage you to do is to think about what is good enough because the professionals like Chris are going to create professional videos that look amazing. What you want, and in my mind, what I want are videos that look good enough so that when the professional videos are in play, you can really tell a difference. So I think this video probably looks good enough and it's because of some of the things I've put in place. So I have a tripod that I'll show you a picture of and I'm using an iPhone and I've upgraded my iPhone because I wanted a better camera and this one is better. It's good enough. It's not perfect, it's not professional, but it is definitely good enough. In terms of lighting, um, I'll share a list of some of the things that I use, but sometimes this is just good enough. It's something that clips onto my laptop or onto my phone, and it's just an, a ring light, and it's battery operated. It really is phenomenal. So I think I got it for like $15. Uh, I use a microphone as well. I'm not using one for these videos because the audio is pretty good, but if you're in a situation where you might be competing with external noises, definitely use a microphone. That's really, really important. So this one also I got for maybe $20 online, not professional, but definitely good enough. And in terms of lighting, while we are using some professional lighting here because Chris set me up today, I use natural light a lot of times. I use natural light and if I need a little bit of a boost, I put this on the side that creates a little bit of extra light for what I need. And it is what I think good enough so that you can tell when I get professional videos done, there is definitely a difference. So I encourage you to look around and see some of the things that you might already have that can help you with lighting, with audio, with your set, and get started on creating the videos because I guarantee that they will be good enough. I thank you for joining us for this video kickstart series. This is video number four. We're gonna continue with video number five. So if you'd like to be included on that, please subscribe to this channel and click the bell. It's really been fun to put this video series together. I'll see you in the next video.